In a deep, dark wood, a clever little mouse was searching for food. As he scampered along the path, he met a hungry fox. Where are you going, little mouse? Asked the fox. Come have lunch in my den. The mouse knew the fox wanted to eat him, so he replied, No, thank you. I'm meeting a Grufalo. A Grufalo? What's a Grufalo? The fox asked, puzzled. A Grufalo? Why? Didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws, and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. The fox, scared of the imaginary creature, ran away. The mouse continued his journey and soon met an owl. Where are you going, little mouse? Asked the owl. Come have tea in my treetop house. The mouse, knowing the owl wanted to eat him, said, No, thank you, I'm meeting a Grufalo. A Grufalo? What's a Grufalo? The owl inquired. A Grufalo? Why? Didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. The owl, terrified, flew away. Next, the mouse met a snake. Where are you going, little mouse? Asked the snake. Come for a feast in my log pile house. The mouse, wary of the snake's intentions, said, No, thank you, I'm meeting a Grufalo. A Grufalo? What's a Grufalo? The snake questioned. A Grufalo? Why? Didn't you know? His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, and he has purple prickles all over his back. The snake, horrified, slithered away. Just as the mouse was feeling very pleased with himself, he bumped into the real Grufalo. The Grufalo, with his terrible tusks, claws, and teeth, looked exactly as the mouse had described. Yikes! Thought the mouse. But the clever little mouse had one more trick. I'm the scariest creature in the wood, he said. Just walk behind me and see. As they walked, all the animals saw the Gru follow and fled. The Gru follow, thinking the mouse really was the scariest creature, ran away too. And the mouse? He enjoyed a nut, feeling very brave and very clever indeed.